There are some interesting things you can do with the cards in your Apple address book. I've sorted out some cards for services I use here, businesses and the like. Here I've selected a card for Anne Matheson of Serpent Opticians. I have a photo here that I'd like to add to the card. All I have to do is find the photo in the finder, drag it onto the photo in the card, zoom in or out to suit, and set. That photo is now attached to the card. Another thing is that although I have the phone number and address here, I don't have a web address. I've found my optician on the internet using Safari. Here's her home page. I come back to the address book, come to the card menu, and choose Add Earl from Safari. That now adds the Earl for the optician's website directly into Safari. I'll just go over here and close that window. Come back to the address book, click the Earl, it opens up Safari and takes me straight to her web page. Another thing you can do is call up a map for a business. I'm going to go to a different card here, card from a dentist. Here's the dentist's work address. Click on the label work and choose map this address. Once again my default browser Safari opens up and it takes me straight to the map for where my dentist works. I might like to call my dentist to make an appointment. I click on the label beside the phone number and choose show in large type. That makes it particularly easy to see while I dial the number. Perhaps I'd like to send her an email. Again I click on the label beside the email address. If I click that label and choose send email, my default email application will open up with her email address already filled in for me. I'm going to come back to the card for my optician and you'll see that I have the optician's name and the company that she works for. I might find it easier to remember the company name than the name of my optician. I'll choose to edit the card and check the box for company. Now you can see what happens as it switches them around. I finish off the editing there and you can see here that the card has this company icon and it's now listed under Circum Opticians rather than Anne Matheson, the person who it was listed under before. There are many things you can do with the Apple address book. These are just a few of the most useful ones. Have a look at your address book and try them out.